Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name's Kate. And I'm Alex. And we are back with a mega box today. Yeah, I feel like I've said this a few times, but yeah, we people have. keep coming back and back and trying to do a bigger and bigger box. And I think this might be the biggest. Yeah, and yes, it looks like we've got a lot here, but we've already taken out quite a few things because of duplicates and things like that, yeah. and sadly a few damages. But um, isn't it just crazy how many things there are that we still haven't yeah. tried? So I think now this is the biggest box yeah. we've ever had. I can't believe it. Ruth, you have absolutely gone wild. Yeah, outdone yourself. <laughs> anyway, thank you, Ruth, for such an amazing box. We will be sending Ruth a box of British candy back to enjoy. I actually need you to email me, Ruth, because I don't have any contact information. But if you could give us an email, that'd be great. And for anyone else who would like to try some British candy, we'll leave a link in the description box down below. Yeah, and that's the best way for you to support this channel. So if you enjoy watching our videos, think about checking out our website and trying one of our boxes. And I don't know if you've noticed, but there's now actually our products down down below under really this video cool little... under the description box in a really cool little banner on yeah. there. You can actually click on and look at some of the product photos and then go to our website from there. Yeah, so go check it out. Right, shall we crack on with yeah, the box? Let's... Okay, Kate and Alex, I recently discovered your channel and enjoy it thoroughly. I can watch video after video for hours. We do have lots of hours of footage, yeah. don't we? <laughs> Admittedly, I've not been able to watch all of your videos, but I've noticed something is missing. As much of a melting pot as America is, you have not been sent many snacks that reflect this. I grew up in South California, then lived in Arizona for 13 years and now have settled in Washington state. Growing up, I ate a lot of Mexican candy and wanted to include these in my box. As you undoubtedly notice, I went a little overboard with my box, understatement of the year. Yep, you yep. did, Ruth. <laughs> and understand if you do not take the testing of everything or decide to film multiple videos. I've included presents for each of you to be enjoyed fully. Since there are over a hundred items in the box, I will not give you a description or story for all of them. However, there are a few I'd like to share information or stories about. You are crazy, Ruth. I sincerely hope you guys enjoy this box and have plenty remaining to share with friends and family. Ruth. How awesome are these? Oh my word. Emoji so this presents. this is for you and this is for me. Oh, how cute. And the crazy thing is, um, so the box got um, repackaged by Parcel Force. So there could have actually been even more, even more that we don't know. It feels like Christmas. It does feel like Christmas and I love this emoji paper. Yeah. That's cool, isn't it? Oh, oh, how was I gonna? It sounded. Oh yes, it sounded like something <laughs> yeah, like that. That shook. Yes, raise the nets. I've run out of my film watching stash, so this is perfect. Thank you, Ruth. Thank you so much for some Swedish fish. Am I getting red? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little so bit. <laughs> fish on there. That's amazing. Oh, and do you know what else she's got me? Peanut butter M&Ms. And do you know what she's got me? Watermelon something. Sour Patch. Sour Patch Kids. No. Oh my word. Two packs. <gasps> Watermelon Twist. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. Oh, Ruth, thank you so much. I love the fact that Ruth got us all, all of, of this. this. <laughs> but she also got us a little something <laughs> each me. extra, yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Right then, shall we um, start with crisps? Yeah, shall we do those popper balls? Yeah, let's. We've enjoyed popper balls so far, haven't we? Uh-huh. So we've got, oh, we've never had, I don't think, no. just the sea salt. Or the sea, oh, sea salt and vinegar. Now that's interesting because a lot of you guys say you don't get much sea salt and vinegar. Yeah. Oh, whoa. Is that strong? Yeah. Oh, wow. Like, in a good way, but yeah. <laughs> I just wasn't expecting that. Mmm. I love wake you up sea in the salt and vinegar, yeah. <laughs> They're so cool. Nice and plain and simple. They're good. Yeah, you might not be able to taste them now, though. It's funny. They are slightly different. Like, these are a bit smaller, don't you think? Mmm. Mm. Nice. These are nice, classic, simple. Mmm. These are lovely. These would be really good on soup, don't you think? Oh, yeah, so good on soup. I really like the sea salt, but I think salt and vinegar are just You're above just better, that. Yeah. I love the colour of that sea yeah. salt bag. And then we've got some white cheddar. Mmm. Mm. White cheddar is very good. And because we've got so much, I'm going to try my best to only have a couple of each mm. thing, <laughs> but that is hard. So good. Don't you feel like recently I've joined you on eating so yeah. much? Mm. I used to only just eat a couple. The tiniest bits. Now I, I'm absolutely stuffing my face these days. 
I mean, about stuff in your face, but you're definitely eating more. Mm, Especially because of, of like chocolate. Before you used to just bite the corner, and everyone in the video noticed. Mm. Mm. But now. But now I'm. You change your ways. Full hog in there. Well, I okay. think hog is the operative word. <laughs> what order are you putting those in? Obviously, I'm going to go the white cheddar number one. They're probably the best. It's hard to say. No, creamy jalapeno no, is your favourite. So good. And she did send us a pack. No, but, but... I do love that white yeah. cheddar. And then the salt and vinegar, then the sea salt. Yeah, I'm going exactly the same. Uh, 10 out of 10. All of them. They're delicious. Perfect. Uh, should we go Pringles? Yep. You know what they say? Once you pop, you cannot stop. These are awesome. Don't you love the size of this mm. bag? So these are the garden veggie straws in sea salt. And these are Pringles, Parmesan and roasted garlic. Are they good? This is amazing. Right. It's not a flavour I ever thought. I'd want it in Pringles, but oh my word, that garlic and the parmesan is so real. Whoa, I can smell it on your breath. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so strong. Isn't that good? Wow. How good are they? I love how it's got the, um, like a, a Pringle man in a, what's it called? A gondola. A gondola. <laughs> yeah. They are probably the most pungent. Well, it's like sometimes the Pringles, you can't really taste them. And yeah. I've always said you have to turn it upside down and have the flavor on your tongue. Yeah. They are so powerful. Mm. They're really good. And do you love your veggie straws? Really good. Veggie straws are really good. Just nicely seasoned with sea salt and a nice crunch. Yeah, I really like them. Mm. Love those. These are a 20 out of 10. Yeah, they're and really so good. good. 10 out of 10. And I would probably give these 8 out of 10. I'd give them a 9 out of 10. <laughs> I really like them. <laughs> they are really good. Should we pop this with the Fritos? Yeah. And we've got Fritos chili cheese. And we've got three dips. I know you tried chili cheese Fritos, but believe you did not have them the best way possible. They're amazing when dipped in the cheese sauce. The scoops are great with the bean dip. I included both varieties since I know you are not a big spice fan. Whoa. Oh, that looks really good. Wow. That looks nice, doesn't it? And this is a hot bean dip. Hopefully not too spicy. Hopefully it'll be like that one we had the other day. Yeah. That we really liked. That chili cheese flavour is really good, isn't it? Mm. We both liked that last time, didn't we? That is delicious. Mm. I think with me, corn chips need to have a bit of a flavour if you're eating them on their yeah. own. That cheese sauce is so nice. Again, it's like being at the cinema. I'm just wondering if there's a kick coming my way. There is a little, it's not too bad. Mm. I'm pretty sure. Mm. Whoa! That's <clears throat> nice. Where you can get these, you could also get the Tostito dip. Yeah. So comment down below, are you team Tostito dip or Fritos? That's spicy, but nice. To be honest, bean dip isn't that popular here. We wouldn't just get a bean dip no. in the shop, would you? But when you have a bean dip or we've had a bean dip on holiday, it's so it's good, so isn't it? so nice. How hot's this gonna be? Hasn't hit home yet. No, I can only just taste the spice from the other one. The, the, jalapeno the jalapeno cheddar is actually quite spicy. Ooh, that, I think that's spicy. I think it might be more when you get those little specks. These are also good. I could sit here all day eating mm -hmm. these. Mixing the jalapeno cheese with the bean dip's amazing. I think I'm actually gonna say this bean dip is number one. Really? 10 out of 10. Because it's not spicy. The jalapeno cheese is really nice, but for me, I can't hack too much. Mm. But that is delicious. And then obviously this surely is exactly the same, but just spicy. Yeah. So. Although it didn't seem that spicy. No. I'm going to give this jalapeno cheddar sauce a 10 out of 10. Okay. I'm also going to give the bean dip 10 out of 10. Yep. I'm going to give the hot bean dip just like an eight because I can't actually really taste the spice. No. Maybe if I try it on its own, I'll get it, but at the moment I don't. It didn't taste that spicy, did it? No. Very delicious. Well, our plan not to eat too much just went out the window a little bit there, didn't I it? know. <laughs> Get back on track now. Back we on can track, do back it. On track. As we're spicy, should we do the flame and hot dill yeah. pickle flavour? Oh, I didn't think you'd say that. It's funny. Dill pickle's not the sort of thing I would picture someone doing flame hot with. Yeah. Dill pickle's got like a tangy flavour that I feel like you completely lose if you add flaming hot. Mm. Oh, you can taste the dill pickle. Oh no. Have you ever had it where you bite a crisp? Oh no, it goes through like your shoots teeth. up your tooth. So oh! Nice. That's really quite hot, isn't it? Okay. The flavor. Ah, oh, my. Oh. That is really hot. <laughs> really quite hot. <laughs> Ooh. I think my nose is 
I think I'm gonna have to get something for that. Dad's going in the other room. Oh, that's hot. Oh, that's very hot. Oh, that's very hot. Yeah, my mouth is literally accelerating. They're like those new, new Dorito flaming hops. The, why does a company make something unbearable? I feel like we've just done the chip challenge. Alex, who never eats yogurt, is having to eat yogurt. <laughs> At first, I thought it wasn't too bad. It I was put building. I put two in. I put two in. I'm an idiot. So did I. And um, I was, I went in there to give them to Dad to try, and know, all of a sudden, I um, I was getting sweaty, and I could feel it in my eyes. My eyes were like tingling. I was about to cry. Ooh, that is hot. Even after a spoonful of yogurt, it still feels hot. Our taste buds are going to be impaired for the rest of this video. <laughs> I'm pretty sure um, everyone was saying the sugar helps. Really? Do you want a bit of sugar? No, I'm okay now. Didn't you come up. No, we don't have any time. <laughs> you mucky worker. I think this is the thing that um, people have mentioned, but I also think it might be sugar cures hiccups. Oh, really? So I think I've just had a spoonful of sugar for no reason. Right. <gasps> Should we do Cheez Its? Cheez Its and goldfish? <laughs> yeah. To try calm our mouths down? It's funny because at first I really tasted the dill and I was like, yeah, yeah. that's really nice. And then BAM! So these are Epic Crunch Tortilla Crunch Big Flavor Honey Barbecue Goldfish. They're much bigger than I always expect, these tortilla yeah. ones. Because they're hollow as well, aren't they? They're I like really that, nice. it's honey barbecue. Because yeah, they're slightly sweet, aren't they? Mm. I think I actually prefer sweet goldfish and then those tortilla goldfish. Yeah. And then goldfish. Although I do really like some of those Well, blasted. you do, but you like it. Oh, yeah. With the really but strong But you like flavor. cheese twists. Yeah. And I feel like the other ones are very dry, like yeah. cheese twists, like these cheese its So Cheddar cheese Jack. It, cheddar Jack. Mm. They're nice. Great flavor. They've got a good strong flavor. Mm. What would you give the goldfish then? I'd give the goldfish an eight and a half out of 10. I'd give the cheese its probably a nine. Mm. I'd give the cheese its a nine because there are better flavors. Yeah. I'd give the goldfish a nine, because there's better flavors, but I really like that. Yeah. Uh, we the, haven't had honey barbecue no. before. And I like the different crunch it offers. Yeah. Shall we go um, Ritz Bits? Yes. I actually feel very strange this week being the one saying, shall we try this? Yeah. Because usually you've got the box. Yeah. Which you... uh, but I'm, I'm actually really enjoying this, you like showing the stuff. Ooh. So we've got Ritz Bits cheese and Ritz Bits peanut butter. So these look like they're um, two sam like sandwiches. Mm. Yeah, look, cracker sandwiches. That's these ones cute. are going to be cheese. <gasps> they're tiny. Are they? Yes. They're so sweet. Look at those. They're really tiny, aren't they? I think you'll really like the peanut butter mm. ones. I'm going to go cheese first. That is so cute. Or as I've heard people in America say, that's so darling. Darling. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. At first I was like, mm. it doesn't feel like it has that flavour but then you get into it. Yeah, it does. What we need for this is a bit of cream cheese on top. Yeah, <laughs> as like a grab and go bag. Really good These grab really and go. Good. It's really weird. Mm. And I sometimes get this with other sort of crackers. At first it tastes like you're, it's tasteless, mm. but then you mix it in and it's delicious. I need to well, stop myself. They're delicious. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. We're getting in the danger zone here, so mm. I don't need them to go over there. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Now peanut butter, which is interesting because you feel like this is going to be very drying. Yeah. Mmm. Mm. Personally, out of these two, I would prefer to eat the cheese ones, but these are delicious. Mm. So I'm going to give the cheese ones a 10 and these a 9. The cheese ones are 10 out of 10. And for not a peanut butter lover, mm. I'm giving those an 8. Peanut butter and jelly and peanut butter. And I thought it tied in with mm. the Ritz. So do you want to open one? Yeah, let's. We don't get this here, do no. we? We get some sort of crackers, but it would never have like peanut, peanut butter, butter and jam in. Or jelly, I should say. Hmm. And the ones we've had of these before, the crackers are like yellow, orange. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. The jelly in that, it's like grape. Mm. Do you prefer it with the... Yeah, with the jam, with the jelly. It makes, it literally tastes like a sweet. Mmm. Tastes like a biscuit I've had before. Tastes like a jam tart. Mmm. That was really delicious. I mm. preferred the PB and J. PB and J. Excellent. Should we go on to these yep. Mr. Salty Handy Snacks? 
And then I think that's it for savoury, yeah, isn't it? Is, it? I think. I love these kind of things. Yeah. Do you remember they're, the last time we got them and yeah. you absolutely loved them? They're kind of terrible, but at the same time, they're just so good, aren't they? So these are Mr. Salty, and don't you just... Oh, it's Nabisco. Oh, yeah. And don't you just love him there, the little pretzel man? So we've had some of these before, but not this Mr. Salty. All right. It says it's made with real cheese. The French would be absolutely a in tears. This is not a healthy snack by any means, but I mean, what a great little snack. I knew you'd love this. Mm. And the I love that the pretzel is so salty. Because mm. sometimes the sticks in this kind of thing are quite bland. That's nice. I like pretzel, but I'm much more of one of those soft pretzel type of people. Mm. You love the crunchy ones. Mm. Whereas I prefer the ones with the flavor. Mm. That cheese, it's definitely quite plasticky. Mm. But there is something about it that's amazing. Yeah. And I feel like that's more your go-to style. And I'm gonna take us over to here for the Oreo. I think that's also my style. <laughs> I know, yeah. Okay, so obviously Nabisco's probably just thought, right, well, how else can we? Mm. What a good idea. Cookie Great sticks idea. and cream dip. So is that a 10 out of 10 for you, Al? 10 out of 10. It's awful, you know what I mean? There are better things. Mm -hmm. There are things that are 10 that are like amazing, but just for the fun of that, I think that's a 10, yeah. I love that. There's just something about that. It really takes us back to being kids. This is so smart. I just think Nabisco, they must be making money. But do you know what I think's funny is that Nabisco Oreos look really modern. Look at this. What do you think that packaging yeah. looks modern? But all the other Nabisco items, I always think look a little bit dated. Yeah, they, oh look on the back. We've tried premium. Oh, is that what we've tried? We've tried premium. We haven't tried the Ritz. We haven't tried the Ritz. And I think we've tried something else. Oh, but, like this doesn't look as cool as the normal no. Oreo branding, does it? Okay, oh, look. So, good. so I reckon you break them. Yeah, so is this going to be, wear. and then sandwich it? Do a bit of that. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, it's so good. A new best way to enjoy I an think Oreo. I might say it. This is better than Oreo. Really? That mixture is fluff. It, that mixture is the same as the original mm. mixture, but it's more like an icing, icing. because it's mm. scoopable. Oh, it's so good. Breaking all the rules today. Do you want half of this? Yes, please. Well, you have that bit. I love the little bit. I, um, I doubt they do because they probably just started yeah. with the original. But could you imagine if they did golden with this? This so is insane. If you have not tried this yet and you're an Oreo fan. You've got to. But do you know what's good about this? I'm actually gonna have one more. <laughs> is often with these things, you don't get enough dip. Yeah. But at least with Oreo, you probably wouldn't mind eating it on mm. its own. Whereas some of the Philadelphia ones, you just left for the breadstick. Bread yeah. Sorry, I kind of, no, I fine. didn't think you were going back, so no, that's why I took that. Wasn't going to. Right, get your hands on these. They're insane. I'm I'm more of a golden gal. A golden gal. <laughs> I'm more of a golden gal, but this is amazing. That is so good, isn't it? Yeah, there's some on the lid there, have that. Mm, good. Have that last one. Mm. This is like one of the best little snacks we've ever had, isn't it? And what's exciting? What is, is exciting? We, how many do we get? We got five more packs. Yeah. I'm looking forward to our next day trip. I wasn't planning on going anywhere, but I'm going to go somewhere to <laughs> sit in my car. Well, you could add that before netball. Mm. Or after. Oh my word, mm. that's absolutely insane. Yeah. I can't get over that. 20 out of 10. I think that has to be one of the best American things I've ever tasted. Could, could you imagine me, lunch on the go, <laughs> I'll have one of these for my main, and I'll have one of these for dessert. <laughs> I can just picture you like on the train and yeah. people looking at this grown man. It's yeah. like, he should be eating that. But it's like, who cares? Yeah, who cares? That mm. is leading me onto this. I feel like this is also like a Lunchable. Lunchables cookie dunks. That is so cool. This is it. Oh! They're all getting in on the game. Now this is will be exciting to try after Oreo because we'll have to play them off each other. So I literally just said Lunchables. We do get that here in the UK, don't mm. we? Weren't Lunchables where you got the two little bit crackers and you got the little bit of ham, little bit of cheese. cheese. You stack them together. Oh my word. Oh, these look nice. So these are little cookies. You need some strength Here's the icing. Oh. Also, I love this branding, by yeah. the way. And then look, sprinkles. sprinkles. Looking nice. We've had this with gummy worms. Do you remember? Oh yeah, we did, didn't we? I can't remember what else it was. Oh, you dipped it in the chocolate, didn't you? Yeah. And then 
The soil. The oh, soil, yeah. Well, this is fun. This is really fun. There was me the other day saying I don't like to play with my food. <laughs> this is insane. People all think I'm a liar now. Initial thought is it's not as good as the Oreo. Not as good as the Oreo. But it is still really good. And that probably doesn't help that we've just had mm. Oreo. What lets it down, I think, is the cookie. It was the best cookie, yeah. But the, the icing and the sprinkles bring it back. That is just... And look how many sprinkles I've got in there. The sprinkles are so really good, sweet, actually. Yeah. It's a shame the cookie isn't a bit harder. It needs mm. a bit more of, of a bite. It's a bit crumbly, isn't it? I feel like what they could have done was partnered up with a cookie company. Yeah, like Chips Ahoy or something. Mm. That'd be cool if Chips Ahoy It's still of nice, but if you can pick between the two, I'd pick Oreo. Yeah. Very delicious. And what a great idea, though. But do you know what? Well, it's not over yet. Jif to go chocolate silk. And this could be my favorite if they've done it well, because this is peanut butter and chocolate flavored spread. Wow. If they've done this well, for me, this could actually be better than Oreo. You would potentially pick that over A that? A chocolate spread, yeah. With peanut butter? With peanut butter. Yes. If they've done it well. I just think these to-go packs are so good. Yeah, they're fun, And there's more and more these days, isn't there? Why don't we open Maria's Biscuits? Maria's Biscuits. These are the vanilla ones, so I think this should work quite mm. well with those. Look how nice that looks. That does look good. Oh, how yeah, sweet. Just nice. a... Mmm. Because yeah, these flavor lemon. vanilla, but the ones we tried were... Oh my word, I've literally looked at the word vanilla and said lemon. It does taste kind of lemony. Is that lemon there, though? No. <laughs> Oh my god, why have I done that? I would say that tastes more lemony than See, vanilla that, though. It's got a chocolate sauce on, so yeah, this so is it's perfect. It does have a lemony taste, doesn't it? It does. I just love getting to to like try things, like dipping things and stuff like that. Is it amazing, Al? Sorry, I just was somewhere Zoned else for a out. second. How peanut buttery is it? Quite peanut buttery. How what's the chocolate like? You can hardly taste the chocolate. Oh really? We taste it a little bit. For a second, mm. while I was eating that, I was in a land where there were chocolate water fountains. And I was just on a, a deck chair by a chocolate pool. I've heard your head Being back. served a glass of chocolate ganache. Do you know what? I prefer that because even though you can't really taste the chocolate, mm. it, it dims the peanut butter mm. a bit. Definitely, yeah. That is so good. So what are you giving that? 10 out of 10. I'm giving these Lunchables probably just a seven out of 10. Chocolate silk. Mm. It really was like silk. Really and these Maria's silky. biscuits are really nice. I wouldn't say they were vanilla. I'd say they're lemon. They didn't Alex taste lemony, it. didn't they? Lemony snicket. A series of unfortunate events. Okay, so we've actually got still quite a lot of snacks, like yeah. biscuits. So do you want to carry on with that? Yes, let's. So uh, Ruth has said, most stuffed Oreos. Alex, I know you really enjoy regular Oreos and have had the double stuffed version, but wonder what you think of that. Now, someone told us how much was the most stuffed. Is it four times or more? I don't know, I feel like it's four. I am so excited about this. When we got this box and I saw it had most stuffed in. Yeah, you got so excited. I got really excited and Kate said, you've got to wait. And I was like, oh. <laughs> Anyway. It does now make- Now is the day. Oof, Ooh. this is- I think they're slightly squashed. I feel like they'd probably be higher than that. Mm. Is it good? Mm. Mm. Yeah. I was right. The more filling, the more better. Oreo, or should I say Nabisco, are smart. They listen to the people, don't you think? Mm. All those different flavours. Yeah. They've gone from most stuffed. They've done that dip thing. Like, they are so smart. Yeah. This is amazing. And they're always bringing something out to keep people interested, mm -hmm. to keep their name kind of relevant. I don't think I'd get them all the time. I think I would draw the line at getting double stuffed. But... For every now and then, most stuffed, yes. Let us know down below your order. Mine would go most stuffed, double, original, and then thin. <laughs> I understand where they're going making things bigger. I don't understand why, why they're making things thinner? smaller. <laughs> well, shall we just try the caramel coconut Oreos yes. that while we're here? Ah, uh, caramel coconut flavored cream. But why is that? Is that a particular kind of cake in America? Because we don't have caramel coconut cake. That's a cake there, yeah. isn't it? Oh, the smell is strong on the these. The smell ones. is strong. Are they double stuffed? They don't seem like it. No, but I think usually just the single. flavors are meant to be double stuffed, they said. Really? Yeah. Maybe it is, but maybe because we've had most stuff, we've lost yeah. sight of like what a normal Oreo looks yeah. like. Thoughts? Um, they are actually good. The caramel is really strong and the coconut is like a secondary flavor, which works well for me. 
Yeah. But they wouldn't be my first choice of Oreo. No. Of all those limited edition flavors, not my first choice. But like you say, that coconut's a second do- mm. dairy flavor. And I don't mind the flavor of coconut. It's that desiccated feel that I don't mm. like. Although that caramel is so strong, it's giving a coffee vibe. It tastes like coffee, yeah, which I also like. So They're nice. They're much nicer than I thought they were going mm. to be, actually. But they are quite strong. And maybe if in America, caramel coconut cake is a popular thing, then that's yeah. loads of people are going to like that. But yeah. it's not a flavor we tend no. to have here, is it? Well, Little do, Debbie. Should we do both of these at the same what time? What are they? Yes. Well, we've got Sandy's... Let's. Shortbread, classic from Keebler, the little uh, fella. The little elf that we thought were for Christmas. Yeah. Do you remember last year? How yeah. has that been a year? Apparently that's all the time. And then we've got little Debbie. Our mum's been hard at work again. Coming out with the turtle brownies. These uh, look like they could be really good, yeah. don't they? Now, I swear we don't get much turtle stuff here, mm. but turtle means caramel, peanuts, peanuts, and like a chocolate, doesn't it? So they're like individually wrapped brownies. I'm gonna go shortbread too. This'll be interesting, because obviously shortbread is traditionally Scottish. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see what an American shortbread is like. It looks like a sugar cookie. Mm, not a shortbread cookie. And this is made with real Madagascan vanilla. It's nice actually, because what I love about shortbread is when, can you see there, the middle bit is actually slightly underdone. Yeah. So it gives a bit of a chew in the mm. middle. The smell almost put me off, because I don't think it smells nice. No, it doesn't smell but the actually, greatest, does it? actually, when you get in there, yeah. it's nice. I prefer my shortbread to be slightly more buttery mm. and also a bit more crumbly. But it's good, isn't it? Mm. I feel like that with a cup of tea would be really nice. No, I've just realised what that would be good with. Jiffa yes. on the go, chocolate silk. Do you, Do you like to dip it in? No. I like those. Obviously, because we're used to very um, mm. Scottish shortbread, mm. it's not quite... Scottish shortbread, yeah. but that is really nice. Really nice. Okay, here she goes. Here she blows. Ooh. Ooh, can you see? So we've got chocolate on the top and caramel's peeking through. Yeah. Ooh, it's quite, ooh. Ooh. Mm, that's actually really nice. Mm. Mm. I forgot they were brownies. I'm a big fan of brownie. So that's like a lovely chunky bit of brownie with a layer of caramel and a layer of chocolate with peanuts. Like, what's not to like? That's delicious. That's you so love that? Good. That is so good. Mm. And I'm I'm not the biggest brownie lover. That is lovely. That caramel is chewy. Mm. And the great thing is, it doesn't have a chemically taste like a lot of these mm. packaged cake mm. bars do. I'm surprised that there was actually a layer of caramel mm. there. That was really good. They're dangerous. They are dangerous. I wish I didn't know about them. <laughs> and how many were in there? Um, eight, isn't there? Oh dear. What are you giving that? I'm just going to pretend that I don't know they exist. <laughs> I'm going to give them a 20 out of 10. <laughs> I'm going to give them a nine out of 10. They're, They're so good. They're really good. And probably one of my favorite Little Debbie's things I've tried. Oh yeah, top Little Debbie thing we've ever had. Very good. If we ever find a Little Debbie or a hostess thing There's as good as things. that, I will be amazed. You'll eat your hat. Not gonna eat any of my hats. <laughs> can we go for something a bit sweeter now? Yes. Because I feel a bit, can I get out my selection yes. of what I think yes. are kind of the same? Right, so we've got Welch's. Mm. Uh, these ones are berries and cherries. And then we've got the original, well, what I see as original as the mixed fruit. I think Welch's are some of the best things ever to come out of America. Really? Yep, so they're like fruit snacks. Although I don't think, is there actually any fruit in there? Fruit snacks. Um, and I just think they're amazing. And then with that, I think we should try, we've got fruit gushes. We tried fruit gushes before, but these are mouth mixers. So I don't know what's that about. Fruit by the foot, <laughs> which I you think we might that. have tried. And then what we tried in a WTF episode, which we'll leave linked up there, fruit roll-ups with unique, oh no, not unique. Unicorn, Unicorn. tongue tattoo. Tongue tattoos, which is so exciting. Well, um, even if you didn't like fruit roll-ups, I think they're worth getting for the for unicorn the, tongue tattoo. Yeah, I think yeah. so. This here just excites me really? so much. So shall we crack open some Welches? Yep. Am I saying that right, Welches? Yeah, Welches. I am so excited. <gasps> oh, they're little bags. Yeah, these are the best things ever. So you'll be able to put them in your pocket, mm -hmm. take them with you when you have your lunch on a bench. Last time I went to New York. Look, here we've got 
your main, your fruit course. Oh, yeah, your fruit. <laughs> and your dessert. Oh, these are just so good. And the texture is lovely. I have to say, the texture on these is good, mm. isn't it? Now, this is my downfall. So I think we've got a mix of... I don't think you get cherry in here, but you get cherry mm. in here. Last time we went to New York, we were at the theatre and I really craved something in the mm. interval. So I mm. went outside to one of the stands and they had a big bag of Welch's. Mm. Those berries and cherries are softer. Really soft, aren't they? I like the bite on them. I have mm. found though in the past that some of the flavours have a softer texture. Wow. They're good. I don't generally like sweets yeah Don't they're know. both 10 out of 10 but i think the uh, mixed fruit are 20 out of 10 just because cherry's not my favorite really flavor. i really like the berries they are and cherries. amazing but i love that that they don't have any mm. cherries in fruit gushers yep now these are called punch berry punch berry so when i was in the hotel in la i bought two packs of the original Ooh. fruit gushers and i just ate them all i think i like this flavor don't i it's funny eating them after Welch's. Mm. They're a completely different texture. Yeah. Mm, they taste almost a bit waxy to me. Mm. Oh, good, aren't they? That's funny because if they were in the box on their own, mm. I'd give them 10 out of 10. Yeah. But because we've tried them with the Welch's, I'd say the Welch's are above. Oh, Welch's are definitely better. So the Gushers are 10 out of 10. Yeah. But the Welch's are like a 20. Yeah. They're delicious. Okay, do you want to get a fruit by the foot? I'll get the foot long ones out. Now these are awesome. You get four flavors, no, three flavors. Strawberry Sensation, Tropical Tie Dye, and Cherry Orange Wildfire. Fruit. I yeah, think this is some... like our fruit wine. Now that's what we needed for the video. <laughs> but the other thing worked. I'm so glad. It, and actually the and other thing about was the probably unicorn. longer. Learn about the unicorn tongue tattoos, so. It's funny because I've always seen it this way. Do you want a rematch? Yeah. We have a UK okay. version called uh, Winders and ours has always been in that way. So when when we first ever saw these, we thought it was really random that it's this way. Mm. What's the tattoo? It's only tongue, isn't it? Oh, I think it's not on every one. Oh, really? Not all rolls have tongue tattoos. <gasps> Assorted tongue tattoos available and not all tongue tattoo designs may be included in packs. No. Got to open another one. It's Don't tell me either. I picked another one without a tattoo. Oh, what if we used you're all the ones me. with the tattoos on. No, we only have the, one didn't for we? the video. We only use one. All oh, right. Yeah, but what if you only get one in a pack? Go open strawberry. How's this fruit by the foot? Yeah, it's good actually. Oh, there's the tattoos. <gasps> oh, there's a poo emoji. Hmm. This fruit by the foot's good. It's cherry flavour, so it's quite yeah. um quite bold well it's a uh, fruit uh, berry tie-dye yeah there's a uh... that's awesome i think i remember last time not liking fruit by the foot as much so how'd you get that on your tongue do you just... i don't know do you just hold it on so do you want to rip some off and you can do that yeah. hey, ha, ha. it looks like something's happening hey, hey, ah, 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 ah. has it worked mm. ah. Ah. I can't tell what it is, but... Is it a horse? It's a unicorn, I think. Unicorn? Mm. Yeah, unicorn tongue tattoos. It's not a horse, is it? Mmm. That's nice. Yeah, that's actually really... The strawberry one was really good. And the cherry orange wildfire is amazing, isn't it? Mmm. Mmm. I'm saving that for later. Is that what this is, cherry orange? Or mm -hmm. is this the variety pack? That's the... Um, Tropical, Tropical tie, tie dye. dye. What's that like strawberry thing at the back? Strawberry and cherry. Here? Yeah. These are now and later. So you know how we usually get them in the square mm. pack and they're really hard? Yeah. And you have to like have them in your mouth for a bit. These are new and they're like small ones. Shell shocked. We've got a shell on. Michelle. Mm. Michelle. Oh, that's lovely. Oh my word, guess what? What? There's a banana flavour. Mm. How funny. Oh, really mm. hard. No, like strawberry. How's the banana? Mm. Are you shell shocked? It's quite um chewy. Mm. The flavour is quite um artificial. Mm. Very strong. Long lasting chew though. Mm. That's good. The shell, considering they're saying shell shocked, the shell wasn't that hard. Or is it? No. It's good though, isn't it? I like that. A bit different. Mm. And it's good that it's it's becoming modern because yeah. it's quite a retro candy that a lot of Americans yeah. have had in the past. So that's cool that they're bringing it forward. Should we try the bimbo? Yes. Haven't we had bimbo from another country? Yeah, wasn't it from Germany recently? Yeah. So these look like 
cool little cake cut off kind of thing, don't they? Like little wafery. Yeah, they're sweet crispy wheels, which don't you think they look quite like that? Oh yeah. I have no clue what these are, but should we try them afterwards? Yeah. I think these are um, Mexican candy. Oh, they look really nice, don't they? Oh my word. Like, um, almost like what you, like an ice cream cone. Mm. Oh, really nice. Do you know you get those like vanilla sticks? Yeah. Of that kind of wafery. I like the fact they kind of taste a little bit deep fried. Yeah, I think like they literally are just like deep fried. When I often have things like a churro, things mm. like that, I like the more the middle, but mm. you quite like the ends yeah, and the crispy, crispy bit. bits. Not really cool. I love how thin they are. Mm. Really crunchy. Mm. They're not like overly sweet either, are no. they? No. Mm. It's cool. Mm. That's Feel delicious. Like Nothing is said about these, so you'll have to let us know in the comments down below. But are they going to be like a fruit sweet or? Well, if they're Mexican, oh, no, they're hard. It, it might be um like the tamarind. Oh, that's so crunchy. Can you imagine meat. if they're not meant to be eaten? <laughs> <laughs> these are like um <laughs> these are the things that come in your box to get the the damp out, yeah. the silicon. <laughs> Could you imagine? Yeah, that's so crunchy. Because they're orange and like this, I just automatically thought they were something sweet. Mm. But they actually taste more like um gravy. They almost don't taste of anything. So you'll have to let us know what that is. Let us know what that is <laughs> down below. We have tried some of these before, but do you want to know what's really interesting that yeah. Ruth says? So marzipan, which is that there. Oh yeah. I really hope these Mexican treats arrive unbroken. They can break easily when opened and have a tradition of showing how much you care for someone by carefully opening one of them so it remains unbroken. Well, look so, how much I care, Kate. Isn't, uh, uh you care about 90%. Most, yeah, most. But that is amazing how that has pretty much survived the whole journey over here. That's really nice. That's good. It says marzipan, but it's more a mixture of, mm. you know, that halva paste we've been mm. having. That is really good. Yeah, really sweet actually, like, isn't it? If you pick up something a bit too small, Almost it like completely a, crumbles. It's like a sesame kind of paste mm, or something. But sweet. Mm. And then look at this. Mm. Is that like a chocolate and maybe strawberry sauce? There are little spoons in there if you want. Oh, cool. <laughs> wow. I'm so glad we're getting a round two of trying these. Mm. Della Rosa, that is delicious. And I can't believe that didn't break with how much was in this yeah. box. Ruth obviously really cares. Yeah, Ruth cares about us. How's this? Yeah, good, interesting. I think cause it's like strawberry and chocolate. Quite an interesting mm. flavor. Yeah. Mix combination. I reckon it. that's like a white chocolate but yeah. mixed with strawberry. Almost tastes quite milky, doesn't it? Hazelnut and strawberry. Mm. Mm. I reckon having a bite of the Della Rosa a and a scoop, scoop of that. that. Yeah. Mm, very good. Shall we go take two with these spoons? Hey, they're, they're back, back. <laughs> they're back. And I just can't believe, still to this day, we get so many comments on how we should eat them. And I think it's just because here, we don't have anything yeah. like it. And because it looked quite homemade, we just mm. really weren't sure what. And also it looks a bit like a gravy. It looks like it could um, dissolve yeah. like in water, which is why that's what we said. This'll be interesting. If you've been here since we uploaded our Mexican yes. candy video, or you've watched our Mexican candy video, down below, do the spoon emoji. Yeah. We're gonna try it again? Yep, I'm gonna have my own one. Okay, so these are churrata. Yeah. Spoons. This is a tamarind candy that I used to buy off of ice cream trucks. Oh, interesting. As a kid, it has remained one of my favorite treats. It is best if you suck it like a lollipop with the tamarind side facing down, mm. like you're doing. If you're impatient like Alex. <laughs> At least you guys know what I'm like. You can scrape it off of the spoon with your teeth and eat it like that. But be warned, it will be spicier eating it that way. And you've just done that. It is, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, if you haven't watched it, we were so confused. So we we even put it in some hot water, didn't mm. we? Oh, it is much spicier if you is eat it. it. Mm. If you lick it, it's just very sweet. I think it's really cool because they obviously make like a, a bowl of it and then they scoop it on, Yeah. let them dry out, put them in the thing and send them off. Mm. That's really cool. 
I don't know if it's because of like food safety and things, but in the UK, I don't think you'd really be able to buy something like this without no. the ingredients mm. listed. But I think it's really cool that just your ice cream vans have these. But this is like a lot more homemade, just being mm. sold in small batches. Mm. That really is really nice. nice. Isn't it? Like so now we lolly. know we're experiencing it properly, mm. so that's great. And I'll save that one for later. When I first put my tongue on it, I was a bit shocked. Were you? Because I couldn't remember the flavour. Oh, it right, is yeah. quite bold. But actually, when you start licking that, it's really sweet. Mm. Now my tongue is slightly singing, but mm. in a really nice way. Yeah. Mm. Great tamarind spoons. What are you giving that? I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Mm. I enjoyed that. What's the nips? The nips are something that's kind of... Nips are the eyes of the face. <laughs> No. <laughs> the eyes of the body. What did I say? Eyes are the nipples of the face. Yeah. Okay, nips. I feel like Ooh. nips rings a bell. Yeah, because we've all got two of them. <laughs> Some of us have even got three of them. Matt, I think Matt's got three. Matt, have you got three? No. No? All oh, right. Dad. Maybe dad. <laughs> Oh, no way. I think it's Holly. Three nip Holly. That's what we call her. They're called Rich and Creamy Chocolate Parfait. This sounds like it's going to be parfait with a cup of tea. Get it? I do. Mmm. These are a bit like our eclairs. Well, probably... You can't just search nips. I was going to say, I should probably put nips. Candy. Why did Lord Voldemort come up anyway? <laughs> Conference of Neurological Information. Yeah, take forever, isn't it? It's one of those things where you need to put it under your knee or your armpit for a mm. couple of minutes. Yeah. But the flavour is actually really, good really flavor, nice. Yeah. Like and that. sometimes with those, the chocolate's not that great in the middle, but I like that. Mm. Okay, so Werther's original caramel popcorn. I think this is super exciting. And once again, clever from Stork. Yeah. This is so smart. We don't get this here at all, do we? No. This is really cool because my favourite type of packaged popcorn is the butter kissed, which you has like, like a caramel caramelly. shell. So hopefully this is going to be as good as that, but with Werther's original caramel. It's such a good idea because if you're a company that do caramels, why yeah. wouldn't you put on... Yeah, make some popcorn as well. Is it going to be the... Is it taste like Werther's original? Yeah, it was so Ooh, good. Oh, yeah. I like that a lot. I like that a lot too. Mm. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, easy. Mm. Oh, look. They got a flavour. Caramel popcorn, sea salt and pretzel. That sounds I good. I think you're going to like those. Mm. Wow. Well done. That's delicious. Mm. Excellent. Really delicious. Oh, can you believe it? This massive box, we're actually nearing the end here. Mm. Okay, Zachary. Never heard of this brand before. Bridge Mix. I think we have heard of Zachary. But really? I can't remember what the thing was. I'm not sure. Chocolate covered nuts, fruits, caramels, and creams. Mm. What's That's not to like? Ooh. Hey, Zachary. You don't get many in there, no. considering how big that is. The box looks, yeah. I want a cream. What type of cream? Yeah. No, oh, that's, that's a, an almond. Hazelnut, isn't it? That's a cream in your... Oh, well, that's nice. Is that? It's like raspberry, I think. This is like a... um, those massive nuts called? Almond. No, bigger than that. Like a Brazil nut. Or... Oh, it looks like a sugared almond. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> mm. I was going to say they're a bit like Revels. What are they called? Revels. Revels. Mmm. Mm. It's funny, like... And I mean no offence by this, but don't you think they've not changed their packaging for... A long time, no. A very long time. I don't think since 1950. <laughs> I feel like their branding isn't selling it. Mm. Because these are very delicious. Really good, yeah. Those creams are so nice. Yeah. But I just, I think I wouldn't pick that up. No. I don't know what it is about it, I think, because there's not much going on I think there. it needs to be a bit more elaborate. Yeah. Selling itself a bit short, isn't it? And really on the back, it should say what nuts and creams they are. I know um, branding has gone a lot simpler. Well, that's quite simple, but I mean, there's no texture, is there? It's just purple. Purple, and one colour. Like, and... A bit um, Microsoft um, PowerPoint <laughs> yeah. 95. They're very nice, though. Really good, I though. really enjoyed that. Ugh. So, that was very nice. Okay. Shall we have Kit, Kit Kat, Kat birthday cake? And you know what? Because it's our birthday, do you think we should um, sip it down with a bit of yoo-hoo chocolate drink? Yoo-hoo! Come on in, kids, for some... Chocolate milk. Chocolate milk. Playtime's over. Okay, so first off... Candies, what have I told you? Put your pants back on. The neighbours don't need to see that. <laughs> what is that from? Just made it up. <laughs> Okay, birthday cake Kit Kat. When I saw these, I immediately thought about Kate and how excited she was to try birthday cake Oreos. Yes, I was. I hope you enjoy these. Thank you, Ruth. Ruth, you're a swell girl. Ruth, you're such a darling. 
You're a darling, Ruth. Shake it. You gotta shake it and make it. That's why my stripper friend always told me. Shake it to make it. Shake it and fake it. Shake it and fake it till you make it. Yoo-hoo! That's good. Ooh. Oh, is that why it's called that? Ooh. Hmm. <laughs> That's actually really nice. It doesn't nice. actually taste like birthday mm. cake. And I really like that, considering it's white chocolate. Mm. Or white fudge, whatever it is. It might be because it's more of white fudge. Mm. And you can actually taste those sprinkles. And it's not overly sweet. It's funny, doesn't the Kit Kat wafer look darker? Mm. Oh, that's nice. Nice, isn't it? Mm. Really smooth and silky. Apparently a good source of vitamins, so why not drink one every day? Mm. <laughs> I love it when things like this say things like, good source of calcium and vitamin D. Mm. It might have it, but I'm sure there's probably better sources on yeah. there. So, yeah, it's fine to drink you who all the time. 99% fat and caffeine free. Mmm. Maybe it's not too bad. Right, what what are you giving the Kit Kat? I'm going to give the Kit Kat 9 out of 10. Yeah, I think I'm going to agree. Because I think I've had better Kit Kats, although it's limited edition. Yeah. I still don't think it's as good as a normal Kit Kat, to be quite honest. Yeah. <laughs> A normal British Kit Kat. I think mm. it's hard to get that birthday cake flavour. Yeah. I think they've done it quite well. Because it's very subtle, really, isn't it, the flavour? Yeah. Right, should we have a go at these marshmallows? Yes. Marshmallows. Because remember last time we got a big one, didn't yeah. we? Yeah. And it came all squashed. Haven't we had this? This and is the And everyone was like, oh, that's clown. normal. Oh, yeah. We said it probably doesn't usually look like this. Yeah. And everyone was like, yeah, yeah, yeah it, it does. does. Well, Psycho like that clown. That's like a, uh, a Lucha, Lucha Libre, is that what they're called? Don't know. You know, um, like a Mexican wrestler. Oh. A, li a lucha libra dog. Libra dog? Well, oh, the other one had a clown face on. Mm. I think the other one was... Did it have chocolate on the other one? Mm. That marshmallow texture is really nice. Mm. I really like the marshmallow on that. Yeah. The chocolate isn't the best, though. The best thing for this is the marshmallow. Yeah. So I wonder if they do ones without yeah. the chocolate wrap. And you know what was really good on the clown one we had before? It had like jelly sweets for the face. Yeah. So that added like a bit more flavor yes. as well. Because we love a bit of jelly with love our chocolate, don't jelly. we? Yeah. A bit like, but the um, marshmallow is very nice. A bit like Cadbury's um, Marvelous Creations. Yeah. But you can tell for kids, you know, you yeah. absolutely love that. Right. I'm really interested in these. Mm, what are these? There's one for you, one for me. I don't Lucas know. Lucas Mango. It's got tamarind, sweet and sour mango flavored powder is in this thing. And this thing here, I think it's got some like tamarind in it. Do you take Have you noticed out? though with the spoon, I think our flavor has come a long way because we hated tamarind yes. in that last video. And now we quite I like it. I think our flavor is really, oh wow. Oh, that's cool. Look, you push it through. Snap off tip. Oh, Our flavour really literally, has. You're doing one, I'm doing the other. Look at this. Oh my word, that is clever. And then you get the stuff out. That is really cool. Mmm. They're good. It's kind of like popping candy, is it, in a way, mm. but not. Whoa! It tastes a bit like a cleaning product. Oh! Now it's sour. <laughs> but also a little bit spicy and yeah. tangy. <laughs> oh it's like doing things to my face and I'm not controlling it. Whoa. I was picturing mango. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the mango isn't that strong, is it, actually? <laughs> you could have given me a heads up, Val. You were like, oh, <laughs> like it was really sweet or something. <laughs> that is so tangy and it's got an after kick. It's nice, but I probably wouldn't have put so much in at one yeah. go. <laughs> well, that's what I was doing. I, I like bored about it. I was like, oh, I might do, um, do a bit more. <laughs> that was a shock. <laughs> but that it's is cool. I think that is so awesome. Look at this. When, that didn't they used to have like a little toy where you put like Play-Doh Play -Doh in the head and then you pushed it out? Our taste really has mm. come a, a long way because I remember the first time we tried a lot of Mexican candy, we didn't really understand yeah. the flavours as much because like, we don't what's get this those flavoured. <laughs> but actually it's quite enjoyable mm. now, isn't it? The mm. tamarind. They haven't given you much in here. Mm. Like if you look underneath. Yeah, it's halfway out already. It's halfway up and it's a hollow. Yeah. It's like with those toothpaste where you have to squeeze mm. the bottom. I feel like you're actually only getting that yeah, much. Yeah, a tiny bit. I wonder because it's quite concentrated. Yeah, maybe. So this is kind of like what's on the spoon, isn't it? Yeah, exactly what's on the spoon, I think. Mm. Mm. It's nice though. I like that. Imagine us, what, two years later actually liking tamarind. Mm. <laughs> we're going up in the world. Going up in the world. No, actually mm. we're going southwest oh, yeah. in the world. Mm. Mm, that's really nice. It is actually this nice one's not as spicy as the one on the spoon. No. But that might also be, be because I've just had my tongue blown off. 
I think I prefer the squeezy head thing. I prefer thing. the squeezy thing. Yeah. Do you know what you probably could do if you had a plate underneath you? Mm. Squeeze a bit up, put some mango on. Oh, yeah, that'd be nice. Okay, last couple things. We've got some salted plums. Oh, yeah. And I think we tried this last time, so this will be cool to try again. It's the original pulperindo made with real fruit. And then we've got a and little chocolate. And we didn't get chocolate. any salsagetti this time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what are they again? Plums. Salted plums. Have you put it all in? Yeah. <laughs> I almost popped my contact lens out. <laughs> There's so much salt on there. Okay, we found a new thing we don't like. <laughs> we might be into tamarind, but we're not into salted plums at the moment. I wonder why you didn't get many in a pack. Because you don't want many. Well, it probably um, takes you over your daily salt. <laughs> Intake. <laughs> oh, my word. I feel like I've just been out in the sea and I've just been taken under. <laughs> I've come back up. I'm trying to get to the plum. Well, if you do that, you're a plum. <laughs> I um, I think this could give Sweden a run for its money. Oh, yeah. Let us know down below, how would you enjoy these? Do you put them in, suck on them, and then chew on them? Or is it something you put in and bite straight away? That's strong. I just I just find it so funny when I watch the uh, read comments on the Swedish mm. video because so many Swedes are used to that saltiness. Yeah. So they find it really funny when we can't mm. hack it. Did it say these were from Mexico? Yeah, it said uh, Snack Max. So they must enjoy salty as well. Mm. This is really good. I seem to remember liking this last time. It's like fruity and tamarindy. Yeah, spicy. Della Rosa. It takes over your face a mm. bit, doesn't it? But then when you get the flavors, yeah, it's uh, really nice. It's just quite strong, spicy. This is by Nestle. So that's it doesn't weird. taste like Nestle. No. So this is, isn't the greatest. It's quite um, grainy. Yeah, that's, it's, well, even when I touched it, it was very like dry. And when dry. you snapped it. It's very dry. Obviously chocolate bars are dry, but if you know what I mean, it's like, look at it, like crumbly Like almost. you don't feel like it's mm. gonna melt in your fingers. Yeah. yeah. Interesting, it's interesting that one. Mm. Kate and Alex here from the future. Once again, we popped a drink in the fridge and forgot about it. Yeah, that's our go-to, isn't it, now with drinks? <laughs> and it wasn't until Dad was like, oh, can I try a bit of that? No. No. <laughs> so we have got um, half and half iced tea lemonade. Do you know what brand that is? No. I can't even read what that says at all, but isn't this awesome how, oh, is it Arizona? Oh, Arizona. Oh, hold on. Is it someone's bottle? Because I thought that said someone's name. It says, does that say Chuck? No. No, Arnold. 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 Oh, is it Arnold Palmer? Pa pa is he a golfer? Because look, I definitely think this is Arizona tea yeah, that Arizona you get. Yeah, Arizona green tea. Oh, look, special golf achievements. All time low, 18 hole score is 60. Most consecutive birdie, seven. Career hole in one, 20, 92 victories. Oh my word, oh, oh yeah. Arnold Palmer. Is a, an American professional golfer. Yeah. Who's generally regarded as one of the greatest and most charismatic players of sports history. But Arnold Palmer, haven't you heard this before? Arnold Palmer is a beverage. It's the name of commonly used for a non-alcoholic beverage that combines iced tea and lemonade. No, because he's- It's an Arnold Palmer. Legendary roots as an original beverage combination of half iced tea and half lemonade. Arizona beverages, makers of one of America's favorite iced tea have teamed up to bring you Arnold, Arnold Palmer. Palmer light half and half. That's cool. <laughs> this is amazing. That is really cool. I wonder if they've done that the with Arnold anyone Palmer. else. The Arnold Palmer. Could you, could you imagine if they had like- um, Like baseball. If they had like a Kobe Bryant. Yeah. <laughs> and it was like his favorite drink. It was like a combination of like Fanta and- <laughs> Oh my word. And Diet Coke. Well, if it's I had one, Bryant. I'd do Fanta and Sprite. Yeah. We love that mix. Yeah. Now we've had a couple um, half and halves before. Say when we've been in America, it's been more fresh. Or a half and half. Half and half. And um, I remember you were the first one to try Arizona, weren't yeah. you? They usually come I in I used tins. to like it in the tins. Yeah, and it was because they look so good. Because they they're like those awesome big tins. And they're massive, yeah. yeah. And also because it's hot in America, so it's nice having a big Cheers. cold drink. Oh, that's really nice. Lovely. That's really nice. Yeah, that's really delicious. What a great combination. That is so good. Iced tea and lemonade. I really love iced tea and lemonade, but when I've had it, it's been more like a peach or something. Yeah. And then I just realized this probably is just normal like lemon yeah. iced tea. 
So I was kind of thinking it wouldn't be as like sweet, mm. but that is delicious. That's really delicious. Arnold, well done. Arnold Palmer. What are you giving that? I'm going to give that a 10 out of 10. Ditto. Because I've had some like cold teas in America, like a Lipton's. I've not ever really been a big fan. Like sometimes they're a bit mm. sweet. I love the peach. Lipton, yeah, but. but this is a really great combination of the lemonade with the tea. Also, just wanted to give you a little fact. When I first went to America and I asked for a lemonade, I got what I wasn't expecting. Mm. A lemonade in the UK is known as a fizzy lemon drink. Mm. Whereas if you go to America and ask for lemonade, you get like the homemade, a flat. Homemade. flat. Mm. Isn't that funny how Yeah, the difference. differences, yeah. yeah. Anyway. Back to the video. Back to the video. I think that was literally it. The end, we've got some candy. Mm. And then I didn't know what these were going to be in here. And it's one of my favorite tea brands ever. Tazo. Mm. We've got Wild Sweet Orange. Well, that sounds and good. we've got Passion. And isn't it Passion that I've got in the cupboard? But so, the yeah. big bag. So I'm so excited. You keep that keeping cake we've stocked got more. up. Thank you so much, Ruth, for including those fruit teas. I love those. For a laugh, should we just get some of those? For out? a bit of a laugh, yeah. Bit of fun. Bit of fun. Candy bracelets. These also come as necklaces and are often given to children to give them an entertaining time consuming snack. They'll be worn like jewelry and be eaten one bead at a time. I'm not sure if you know, but they also come as underwear. So you can get <laughs> these as a thong or as a bra. I was going to say, me and Holes bought Alex mm. as a joke a candy thong. Yeah. <laughs> Do you still have it? I don't think so. I wonder if I've still got that, <gasps> that gold so thong. Did you get me a gold thong or something? I don't know why, but me and Holds have bought Alex two thongs. <laughs> a candy thong and a gold thong. But I'm pretty sure mum was in on the gold thong <laughs> as well. I don't know why you thought that'd be fun. Like, why, why I'd want that. Or I didn't least, think you'd want it. At least, yeah, well, yeah, exactly. At least you can get me a mankini. <laughs> Did we not? No. Mm. <laughs> Did we not? I think maybe we thought about it. <laughs> quite a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, All right, made them expensive. Piece, yeah. <laughs> mm. Do you know what? We used to get these when we were younger as well. And there's something about putting a candy on your hand yeah. or your neck and biting it Just like that. It with you, yeah. It's so crazy that depending on what age you are, you really do kind of go in for things. Yeah. Isn't it funny? Yeah. But that orange one that I had was really delicious. Yeah. I really enjoyed that. Oh, we made it. What's an epic box. Oh, dearie me. Ruth, you are absolutely amazing. She did also send us a couple of items that need to be made, like a chocolate pudding, mac and cheese. Mm. So we think we might do that in another video. If you guys are interested, let us know in the comments down below because that would be awesome yeah, to do that, wouldn't it? Yeah, that'd be it? really cool. But um, we will be sending you a box. Ruth, don't forget to get in touch with us as we'd love to send you some British candy back to say thank you. If anyone else would like to try some British candy, we'll leave a link down below. Yeah, and as I said before, that's the best way for you guys to support this channel if you enjoy watching these videos think about checking out our website anyway we hope you guys enjoyed watching that we're about to go into a sugar coma so we need to go now bye guys see, see ya. ya never done that Stole before see ya oh uh, yeah <laughs> did i do it at the same time as you yeah <laughs> <laughs> bye, guys. bye guys see ya, see ya. <laughs> <laughs> this is my bit.